I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Ole Yateker. He is the CEO of SFL Corporation. Ole, it's so wonderful to see you. Thanks for joining me today. Oh, thanks for inviting me. It's so exciting to be here. Okay, now, quick note to our viewers, this interview is for informational purposes only. The NYSC doesn't recommend any investments or investment strategies. All right, so Ole, tell me about your company and tell me how you're different from other shipping companies. Yes, exactly. And your point, we are a shipping company. We have assets trading, you know, the, the waters of the world. We have container ships who bring sort of finished goods to the U.S. from Asia and other places. And we have dry bulk carriers and, uh, and crude oil and, and product tankers. So where we differ is that we have a long-term focus. We typically work with end users. We're, you can almost say we're an integrated part of, part of a logistics change in the maritime world. Okay, now you've been listed on the New York Stock Exchange for 18 years. You, we were just talking about that. Now tell me, how important is it to be listed in the United States at the New York Stock Exchange? Yes, we have a very, you know, very, you're very happy with the corporation, with the New York Stock Exchange. We see that there is good personal interaction, you know, with the market makers and all the, the how the exchange functions. You know, SFL was listed in 2004 and we've been, I would say, you know, been now, you know, 73 quarters uh, since we've got listed and, uh, you know, we've been, you know, profitable every quarter and, uh, you know, been paying dividends every quarter. And I think we have had a good following in the U.S., uh, typically with retail investors. We have some, you know, 60,000 retail investors. We have three, 400 institutional funds. So, you know, providing them with a very efficient platform, a way to trade the stock, uh, I think is a very, is beneficial for our investors and also for SFL. All right, now, Ole, how is shipping a play on inflation? It's a very, it's a good question. It's, of course, a very relevant question these days. Um, and we have seen over time that there's a very close correlation between ship values and, uh, and the interest rates and inflation. And the reason why is that a ship is typically built of steel and you have other you know, factors like you know, main engines and equipment that's, you know, that's typically built in Japan, Korea and China. And therefore, you know, in dollar terms, uh, typically when there is inflation, you know, the value of these ships will come up and therefore is a hedge, as you say. We, what we also do on the financing side, we typically hedge our interest. So we have, we, we're not really exposed to the interest level increasing, you know, like we see right now uh, in the international market. You know, we have a more, I would say, stable platform, predictable cash flows, you know, again, down to distribution capacity. Okay, now you mentioned the increased interest rates. How does that affect the shipping industry? Well, uh, you know, you could say from a value perspective, it's very positive. Uh, of course, if there should be a recession, you know, that will have an impact on demand for goods. But the good thing is that, you know, the, the shipping industry is the backbone of the world. It's the, it's the most efficient, energy efficient way to move both raw materials and finished goods around the world. And therefore, you know, there, are, there is a huge demand for, 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 for goods all over the world. And I would say particularly now in third world countries where you are moving out of what can we say, moving up and you have a bigger class that's coming into, what do we say, middle class and they want, they want goods and they want consumer goods, they want energy. And uh, so for shipping, uh, we are more insulated, I would say, you know, from, uh, as an industry than uh, many other industries. Okay. All right. Well, Ole, wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk. Thank you very much.